Here we're on the left side of the machine, and we're talking about the bottom of our access ladder for our cabin. We have a blue decal here indicating that we have a 100-hour grease interval. I'm up here at our 90-degree elbow for our unload auger. I got a couple 100-hour grease points that we need to hit. First thing I've done is swung open our cloth door. I can do so by removing the two bolts on our unload tube. You can see the blue stickers here indicating a 100-hour grease interval. First one is greasing the pivot shaft for our unload tube. The second one is behind this panel here. We have to remove these three nuts, and I can access that grease point. Grease these two points every 100 hours. We're on the top side of our unload chain drive. And we got a blue decal here indicating a 100-hour grease interval. The grease circ is on the back side of the sprocket. We're on the left side of the machine, and we're going to talk about another 100-hour grease point. You can see here the blue sticker indicating a 100-hour grease interval. This is talking about the bottom of the vertical auger. Now, to get access to this, I first want to remove my bolt here, and then I have to remove this cover. And then you can access it through this hole here. Now, you may have to rotate your auger in order to access this grease point. Here we're looking at our drive shaft for our final drive gearbox for our wheeled machines. We have a 100 hour grease interval indicated by a blue decal here. We want to grease this grease zerk on the right and the left side every 100 hours. We're going to talk about our Terratrack systems on our Lexion 700 series combine. Now what you may have in your machine may differ from what you see in this video, so always refer to your operator's manual for specific greasing points on your Terratrack systems. There's generation two, and then there's also a generation three, which we have here. Now, to access some of our 100 hour grease intervals, we need to remove this cover here. I can do so by taking out these bolts. That'll grant me access to some of our 100 hour grease interval points. I'm on the left side of the machine here. I've grabbed my service ladder so I can access my tensioning devices for all of my engagements. Now, I got three different engagements. My main engagement, chopper, and unload. All of them have tension devices which need to be greased every 100 hours. Do so by greasing the top of the pivot shafts. I'd like to talk about a 100 hour grease point on our rear axle. On the front side of our axle here, we have a grease zerk. Hit the left side of the machine and the right side of the machine every 100 hours. We're in the back side of the machine here, and we've opened up our chopper door so we can access our rotors. We have a 100 hour grease interval, you can see here, on a sticker. The sticker is pointing towards the rotors themselves, so we have access to the back of our rotor. There's a grease zerk on the back side of each rotor. This zerk greases the splines coming from our gearboxes to our rotors. We're on the left side of the machine, and we're going to talk about the rotor drive variable speed pulleys. First thing I've done is that opened up my access panel on the right rear of the machine. Now you come here and you can see there's a blue decal indicating a 100 hour grease interval. This is going to be on our drive pulley for our rotor drive. Come over here to our driven pulley or the mechanical pulley and you can see it's similar to the threshing system. We have our three access points around the pulley. We have two groups. We want to hit one from each group two to three pumps every 100 hours. Here we're on the right side of the machine and we're going to talk about the threshing system variable speed pulleys. The upper pulley is uh, what we're going to call the drive pulley. Here you can see a blue sticker for 100 hour grease interval. Hit this grease zerk every 100 hours, two to three pumps of grease. Now we'll come down to our driven pulley or our mechanical pulley. Here you can see another blue sticker for 100 hour grease interval. We have three different slots here on our pulley. Three slots include two grease zerks a left and a right. We have to hit one left and one right two to three pumps every hundred hours. You do not have to grease all six grease zerks. Here we're on the right side of the machine and we'll talk about the cleaning fan system variable speed pulleys. Here you can see on the drive pulley a blue sticker for hundred hour grease interval. And also on the driven pulley we have a blue sticker every hundred hours two to three pumps each.